With the NBA draft coming up tomorrow, there is much talent entering the league, such as Ben Simmons, Brandon Ingram, and much more players. With trade rumors also circulating around the league, this is going to be an exciting draft for sure. So I've decided to make a lottery mock draft. So without further ado, let's get started. The Sixers already told Ben Simmons they will be picking him with the first pick, so let's move on already. The second pick is easy for the Lakers. They take it to whoever the Sixers don't take in the Ben Simmons, Brandon Ingram duo. But with the Sixers telling Ben Simmons they will be picking him, the Lakers get Brandon Ingram, a good on and off the ball score with amazing shot and lockdown defense. The number three pick is where the first trade happens in the draft. The Boston Celtics will trade their number three pick for Julio Okafor. The Sixers will then take Chris Dunn out of Providence, the best playmaker and defender in this year's draft. With the number 4 pick, the Suns take Dragon Bender. The Suns desperately need a power forward, and Bender can fit into their starting lineup immediately. With the number 5 pick, the Timberwolves take Jamal Murray out of Kentucky. The Timberwolves need 3 point shooting, and Murray can do that and much more, which edges him out over Buddy Heald. It also helps that Jamal Murray said that he wanted to play for the Timberwolves, according to his coach. With the number 6 pick, the Pelicans take Buddy Heald out of Oklahoma. With most of the Pelicans guards are going into free agency this year, and it would be nice for them to have one just in case they lose any. With the number 7 pick in the draft, the Nuggets take Marquise Chris out of Washington. Even though that they already have a good front court, the Nuggets, they need 3 point shooting, and Marquise Chris provides that and much more, making him the best choice. With Rajon Rondo becoming an unrestricted free agent this summer, it would be nice for the Kings to get a point guard. With none worthy of the number 8 pick, they decide to trade it. The Hawks are looking to trade Jeff Teague, a point guard, and the Hawks are looking for a center in case they lose Al Horford this year. So the Hawks trade Jeff Teague in their pick this year for the number 8 pick in the draft. The Hawks then take Jaco Pelto, leapfrogging the Raptors for him, as the Raptors were looking at him as well. The Raptors maybe got leapfrogged out of their pick, but that may turn out to be a good thing. That leaves them with Jalen Brown, as he fell a lot in this draft. He's the best wing defender and one of the most athletic players in this year's draft. With him and DeMar DeRozan at the wing, that could be an unstoppable duo. With the number 10 pick, the Bucks take the big man out of Gonzaga, DeMonte Sabonis. With the Bucks maybe losing Greg Monroe in free agency, it would be nice for them to have a big man. With the number 11 pick in the draft, the Magic takes Scal out of Kentucky. As the Magic already have the rest of their lineup complete, the power forward spot is a question mark, so they take him. With the number 12 pick in the draft, the Jazz take Jadante Murray out of Washington. As the rest of the Jazz's lineup is already complete, they need a point guard and he's the best playmaker left in the draft. With the number 13 pick in the draft, the Suns take Malachi Richardson out of Syracuse. The Suns already addressed the power forward spot and the small forward was another spot a need coming into the draft, so the Suns take him. With the number 14 pick in the draft, the Bulls take Wade Baldwin a point guard because of the Bulls point guard spot is in question going into the future because of Derrick Rose. You agree or disagree with what I said? Comment below what you think.